Hey guys, Merry Christmas to you and today we have a new video we're going to be telling you the Czech Christmas traditions. So not many countries actually celebrate Christmas on this day but Czech Republic celebrates Christmas on 24th of December, not 25th. And the difference is also with other countries that we don't open our presents in morning the next day, but it's in evening. So as you normally know that Santa Claus comes and brings the gifts. In this country we don't do that. There is also no Santa Claus, but there is little Jesus, baby Jesus, who brings, Ježišek. <laughs> who brings the presents. No one knows how and no one really can picture it, but it's pretty common and Czech people are really strict about that, even though there are so many movies about Santa Claus. Anyways, 24th evening of December, Little Jesus brings presents to your Christmas tree. In Czech, very, very long time, people didn't really have a plastic Christmas tree, they always had a fresh one, they still prefer the fresh one. So you buy it approximately one week before and you keep it in a balcony and then you bring it up your living room usually where you set it up on the Christmas day. Yeah, this is quite strange because you see two people walking around with a tree in a net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It's a big business. It's a big yeah. business. Um, all the time it's like you just yeah. see it going around. So that's really interesting and that is very different. Because of Covid I noticed that so many Czech people are now decorating Christmas tree in beginning of December. But what I remember, as long as I remember, it's always been on the Christmas day where you decorate the whole morning, you're decorating your Christmas tree with a different type of decorations. So the typical Christmas day is usually, as I said, in the morning you wake up and you set up the tree. Then the tradition says you shouldn't eat during the day and you should fast until evening for uh, you to be able to see the golden pig. I have no idea what that is. Not flying. It's mm -hmm. flying. It's flying? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Golden blind pig. Okay. Yeah, we've been always just waiting for a classic golden pig. But yeah, you never usually see anything. It's so difficult for the kids, you know, especially when you have kids. And there's lots of sugar sweets and sugar cookies. It's a huge thing. Czech people, they really bake their own Christmas cookies and they are different than just gingerbread. There's so many kinds I love of them. them. I, have, I have two they specific so ones, tasty, which yeah. I like, or three. I like the one with the honeycombs. Yeah, you know, honeycombs filled with liquor. In the middle, and then I like mm. the one with like a little basket with cream yeah, and the the chocolate layer. Yeah. yeah, so much butter, so much sugar. Yeah. It's so fatty. And people love to eat it for breakfast, for lunch. It's always open. Especially on Christmas Day, yes. It's so, out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So around the Christmas time, you should like always have a plate full of these sugar cookies. And it takes a long time to make them. And it actually is quite a master skill i must say it's not that easy because mm. there's lots of butter and it sometimes melts and it's disaster yeah once you're fasting the whole day usually people go after the lunch time where sometimes they have a soup sometimes people eat a dish which is called kuba old or old time kuba i will be actually making it for my family this year i never made it before i don't think i've eaten it but yeah, you never eat in it. Yeah. And it's so typical Czech because it's very cheap ingredients, especially back then. It's from Kropy. You put the tail. Mushrooms, wild mushrooms, which people usually picked over summer for free in forest and froze it. So you just mix them together on a butter and garlic and onion. And it has a super specific mushroomy garlic oh, yes. flavor. <laughs> <laughs> remember like we always had it with my grandma and it was like such a like typical for Christmas and it was such a deliverance because we didn't have to fast because that was the only allowed dish <laughs> and then the biggest part of the day is obviously the evening uh, families usually start around four o'clock preparing the classic dish for Christmas is wine klobasa very delicious it's like the best dish like out of the whole Christmas day. yeah this is like something you just yeah. keep going and going and going yeah. it's like is it like wine mixed with sausage yeah I is think it's like a pork uh, pork meat marinated with wine white wine yeah and then they somehow like shred it together it's really it's so really good. yummy it's, it's really so yummy. good that one with potato salad like, yeah classic oh. potato salad and with mayonnaise and then you have schnitzels 
either pork or chicken or turkey and then people do fish fish is actually the traditional official meal carp oh, oh, oh we hate it here but i really dislike carp <laughs> i never been like against it, it honestly I but there is a muddy yeah. taste <laughs> yeah about carp is that you go into town they have like these buckets where there's like the carp which is just like yeah. sitting there and it's from like mud lakes right Not yeah like a normal lake. yeah yeah they have ponds specific for these carps which will be eaten during christmas yeah and then you go into the town you you buy it you put it in a plastic bag it doesn't need water to be alive and then you carry it in a plastic <laughs> In your, in your bathtub. You can, you they kill it there if you want to, but a lot of Czech people love to keep the carp fresh until the morning of Christmas day. Yeah, and um, what, what they do is they bring it in their billa bag, yeah. you know, and then they take it into their bathtub where they're supposed Disgusting. to keep it alive in the bathtub and it's like swimming around in circles for almost three, four days or two days. Yes. Today when you're recording it is 20th and I have so people already buying it. And this. you know, it's quite disgusting because a lot of people have really just that bathtub, you know, they don't have two bathrooms, they don't have shower, extra shower, they live in panel houses, I think, I think yet it. for three, no, you can't, you can't actually mix the water much because the car would die and that happens a lot. Yeah. So, like, because they get like a shock or a lack of oxygen, so... Yeah, you need to I always run fresh water, right, in it. Um, because it's gonna die. Yeah, to, yeah, but yeah. you have to keep the water really, really cool because of the temperature difference. They can actually get in shock and die. That happens. It happens. We've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Nice. That's yeah. very shocking sight. Yeah. 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 So the skill of Czech men is to kill this carp and to with the hammer it in the head with the hammer. Yes, many times, sometimes, and it's a real bloodbath. I never yeah. actually witnessed it with my eyes. I was always scared. Yeah, some people they actually even fish for the carp. Yeah, that's how far. <laughs> It is. Anyways, carp is the official dish. That's how it is in the bathtub. Then you kill it in the morning, and then you cook it. You also coat it with with the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Nice. Yeah, Almost like, like schnitzel, schnitzel, but yeah. with fish inside. Yeah. yeah. Also, there is lots of cases of death on Christmas Day because yeah. of the bones. They have yeah. very very sharp bones. It's like a it's strong like bones. Thick. It's like needles. You know, like thick yeah. Needles it can it can stuck. You you heard it once. Yeah, I, I cannot. <laughs> I don't eat it anymore. Ambulance. Because I've been stabbed in, in the mouth by the bone a few times. Sometimes <laughs> it, get, it gets stuck. It gets stuck on those, and you are you are literally in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, and it's got like this oily, thick, yeah. muddy taste. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Some it's of them like are really muddy. Yeah. Five percent taste of fish. But you can get yeah. a very, very good taste one, but you have to really know where to look for it and stuff. And people go crazy after carp, especially before Christmas. So yeah, yeah, it's also a good part-time job. If you're a foreigner, you don't really need to speak much of Czech and you can still sell carbs. Tip for you. <laughs> it's a part-time job. So then around four o'clock, you start frying the fish, you start frying all the ingredients, you start preparing, setting up the table. The table is usually reset up nicely for dinner time. And then you all meet around the dinner. Another tradition says you shouldn't leave the table once you sit down, because if you do, you will not return back the next year. Yeah. Especially now with COVID, don't, yeah. don't stand up guys. Don't stand up. So yeah. make sure you visit the bathroom before. That's always the trouble. Also, you have to wait for the last person to finish the food, which with big family sometimes is <laughs> very much struggle. Especially when you are a kid waiting for your gift and you are just so excited yeah. and stressed if you're gonna get it. And that person takes ages. In my family, it's like, my dad, it used to be my grandpa. <laughs> they were taking ages, they were taking rounds, you know, <laughs> just to make it super long. Yeah. And yeah, it can be very nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, for us, because we are Christian as well, your parents they incorporated uh, the praying. Yeah, after, and they the read Bible. the story of Jesus being yeah. born. That's very nice. Yeah, that reminds you why you actually celebrate Christmas. But I think because of a long time of communism, they really kept just the baby Jesus in the tradition. Mm -hmm. And then people also keep uh, the decoration of the Bethlehem scenario. Yeah, the nativity. I think that happens still. But mostly it's the baby Jesus who's in the picture when it comes to Christmas. So after the dinner, everyone goes upstairs or to their room and they wait for a bell of the little Jesus who says, okay, you can come to the tree, I brought you gifts. So that's the moment where kids go with the mom or with the dad and the other parent runs around, brings the <laughs> gifts under the tree and yeah. then they switch off everything. So it's only the Christmas tree which is lightened up 
and you can see the kids entering the room with their eyes completely sparkling with joy because they see what little Jesus, baby Jesus brought them. And I think that's very magical compared to the morning where kids... You just wake up. Yeah, yeah, and honestly I wouldn't even sleep, I think, like, not yeah. peacefully. But this is a little bit better and it's just a magical evening even though you don't have much time to enjoy the toys because then it's basically night. But yeah, it, it's just it's the magical. Opening, you know, it's the opening, say. especially when you get a snow, you know, and you have the snow outside, it's, it's really cute. So you open the gifts and then the last step, last step of that evening is to usually watch uh, the fairy tale which is made specifically for the day by Czech. Uh, by the Czech <laughs> director. It's on Netflix if you want to watch this one. It is so. And it's got yeah, the new one. Yeah, it, and your penny, right? No, not that one. This year is a new one. Really? Every okay. year, the Czech national Czech uh, TV, they have to produce one new fairy tale movie for that Christmas Eve specifically. Ah, okay. And Czech people are very critical about that. And even grown ups, everyone watches that one movie. And it's like a closure for that evening where you sit with your presents and you watch that. But they don't get as good as Angel Pane. Angel Pane was, was very popular. There's Which means two. <laughs> Angel of the Lord 1 and Seasons. Angel of the Lord 2. And number 2 was filmed in just It's on Netflix. Of, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And so, it's got English subtitles. So yeah. look for Angel of the Lord or Angel Pane. You may yeah, see yeah, you may definitely see it on Netflix. Yeah. So that's that's like a highlight of the of the night after you open the presents. And then the bonus thing, which sometimes happens during COVID now, not really, uh, is to go at midnight for a midnight mass to your local church where they do a special mass for Christmas, for birth of Jesus. So that's also really nice, especially when it's snowing. The atmosphere is really cute. The Christmas season actually begins a lot earlier in town when there's the markets which they open up where they're saving hot wine and they're selling like chestnuts and they also have some tradonics and stuff like that. And I love this event. We've done a few videos about it, so you can check it out after this. Yeah. But I absolutely love it. And then you have the hot wine, which you can drink. It's like mild wine. That's the other name of it. And I absolutely love this event. And it's just so magical. And sausages. And there's lots of traditional artwork. They do arts and crafts. Yeah. It's really nice. That starts usually in the beginning of December. That's where you also hear most of the traditional Czech carols. I have only one Czech song, which is like the <laughs> outmatch. Check Carol. He heard it once in one of the events on the town with kids yeah. where kids were performing and singing this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and what's the, what? I'm not gonna try to say it in Czech language because I'm again butchered here. It's Puidem Spolu do Betlehemma. Puidem Spolu do Betlehemma. I love that song. Oh, it's such a hit. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so good. Like, it just, just gets me pumped up when I hear it. It's yeah. like I'm ready for Christmas. It's really Christmassy. Yeah. And then there's another thing which happens um, in this part of the Christmas season, and this is the Mikulash. So when you do watch Angel Pani, you're gonna see what we're talking about. Yeah, it's Saint Nicholas. It's a tradition, I think it's from Germany about a saint who was giving a lot of free gifts to orphans and to children in general in his village but this tradition took it so, to... Sorry guys! Sorry we have a baby here! Who <laughs> was crying? She's, yeah. crying with my, she's playing with my necklaces so that's the noise. Yeah so Saint Nicholas traditions is on 5th of December and it's believed that he usually comes with angel and devil and it's people dressed up like those and then they bring you either sweets once you tell them as a kid they go for children and they check your list if you were a good kid or bad kid and then if you were a good kid mm. you're supposed to either sing a song or recite some some poem yeah. and then they give you the treat but if you were a bad kid then the devil will take you away or they give you, I they, don't want to just give you like the onion or the they, Yeah, that's after, this is the visit, actual visit. And then after the children when they go home or unless you invite them over, in balcony or behind the window you can find a stocking full of either treats mm. and chocolates or it's of coal or onions, garlic, potatoes. Yeah. yeah, but unfortunately this event has actually been hijacked, which is something which we're really disappointed and actually yeah. not so happy about. Yeah. I discovered it actually recently where people from Austria and Germany and now it's in Czech they started doing this thing called Kramusatsi 
where these devils is basically just a hell presented in towns where they do a parade with the scariest scariest masks I ever seen of devils. There's yeah, actually Lucifer it's, and it's fear driven. And fear driven. It's, I walked past it like in Bruno where they had like fireworks yeah. and like these loud noises and they are yeah. literally dragging like violently the kids from from um, Lots the of parents kids, yeah. and the parents will be laughing and taking pictures, you know, yeah. and this is this is just horrible. Yeah it's just horrible. We can She's got a new wife, by the way. Which <laughs> no. is low. Yeah she doesn't like it no yeah, yeah she doesn't like this <laughs> So that is not a traditional Czech thing and I think that's absolutely not connected to Christmas or to any of the St. Nicholas stuff. It's definitely not an event for children. It's quite. It made me actually really angry mm -hmm. when I found out that this is what people do for children and with children when it's so traumatizing and you don't even want to look at the faces of the devil. Yeah. So yeah, 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 that was really disturbing to find and it's happening. It's happening even in Prague and Czech people also do it and they are proud of it. I it's find like, it really disturbing. I actually would call social services at some moments because it's mm -hmm. really traumatizing and they actually carry the children and you think like, how is that allowed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how is that even allowed? You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of enough scary stuff in the world so you don't yeah. need a devil for it to add to it. But yeah, that's next level, that's what we've seen there. So we hope you enjoyed this video about the Czech Christmas traditions. Make sure you leave us a like, comment, subscribe and check out the next video about <laughs> the last Christmas before COVID so that you know how it's like and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Ciao.